Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video. Two things to cover in this video. One, I'm going to give you a Brutal Rush update. But before that, I just want to show you something which has just dropped. Uh, I've got minimal information so far, but as we get more information, I'll share it in a proper video. But we know for sure, so this is patch day today. 1.14 is dropping today. Um, and we're going to get things like the artifact sorters, all that type of stuff. I'll show that in a different video. But we're also going to get a fusion tomorrow. Just had it in our creator our content information. I'll show you the ones. They kind of dropped this as a as a teaser a little while ago, a little video on, on their Facebook page. Uh, it's this lizard man at the back here. He is coming in as a fusible champion tomorrow. A fusion that is going to be a force affinity champion. That's pretty much all we know. But we've been told it should be an easier to achieve fusion than more recent ones so we believe it's going to be old epics no new champions for this there's a good chance everybody's going to have one two three whatever it depends how long you've been playing but a good chance you're going to have some of these old epics for the fusion um wait to see what comes out but you know that's that would be two in a row that you know are achievable yeah really really cool so i think that is good job to be fair i think good job plarium that is what we want we want fusible champions where we might have a chance to have some of those epics already um we're also being told that there is going to be a gift to get us through this kind of coronavirus hard times lots of people on their games so we should also get a free gift tomorrow um if it, if it kind of rains in like we've done recently it's probably going to be energy um perhaps a clan boss key something like that so that sounds cool. Look forward to seeing what we get there. Uh, let's just have a run through then. Brutal Rush It's the first update video I've done. I've been playing hard. I'm trying to get back on terms with Stu. Stu's a bit ahead of me, um, but I'm not in a bad spot. So what have I been doing on this account? I'm level 35. I don't know how many days we're in, about five days, I think. Um, I'm level 35. I have been, I've been doing a lot of stuff, actually. I have massively pushed missions. So you see this, I've gone into, I've gone past a full stage of one. So I've got these 300 lovely gems. Along the way, I've been grabbing silver, energy, gems, the odd book, the odd shard. It's really helped me stay on the game instead of waiting for energy refills. It's really helped the silver reserves. Um, so I think that's not a bad technique to do. I've also been working through some challenges. So any challenge where well, i look at this i look at the reward i'm like what what do i need to do okay i can't do this just just easily there's nothing i can do easily anymore but i'm basically looking through and saying what would it give me and what do i need to do and is it worth my time yeah and is it is it kind of a positive in terms of energy or silver for me to do that work and pretty much i've boxed off everything now which is worth my time i've gained loads of energy from it books gems I'd love to do this one as well, but it's just going to take me a long time to do it. And I don't think I've got time. I can't get to silver in the time frame we've got just to get 100 gems. So it's not worth it. Equally now on the missions, the next one is get to silver. I'm doing arena whenever I can do it because I want to get my great hall a little bit better. But the focus has got to be on leveling champs now. And the rest of these rewards, I'd love this one. So some of these will come like almost instant like this, this, this but there's a blocker and the blocker is really hard. And when you get further, you're kind of looking at it saying, well, is it worth time now? Probably not. Even though this is a freebie, um, this would be a freebie for a couple of bits of gear, but I'm probably not going to wear that gear. So it's got to the point now where this is kind of counterproductive, but up until this stage, it's been really helpful. Uh, what have I done elsewhere? So I've been able to get myself one, two, three, four, five star champions. I have got couple of four stars in the vault waiting to go for food. I've got another four star here. Um, so I'm going to get her, up, uh, him up to 40, which gives me then two. I need two more fours to get my next fifth star. And then I'm going to have one, two, three, five stars. Basically, what I'm working to now is getting a six star. Um, the champs I've built are Sniper. It's the original champion you get in this game. She's actually very, very good. Uh, she has got this kind of nuke ability, which hits twice on her A1 um, and fills turn meter if she gets crits. Extra 15% chance to crit. So I'm trying to push her crit rate up. She crits a lot of the time now. So we've got, what, 50 here. So that makes it 65 with this. Every time she gets a crit, she gets another 15% turn meter. And then she's got this second ability here. 
attacks all enemies two times, so it's quite a big hit. Um, and it's got a 10% chance, so I've booked this one right up, 25% chance of placing the de decreased speed for one turn. It's okay, it's not amazing. I've got a couple of masteries on her though, so we've got an increased crit and increased accuracy there. Um, I've got life still set, so I do have these boots maxed out. I've got this HP chest, which is pretty rubbish. I do have replacements, but my biggest blocker is silver. Silver is tough. Really, really tough. I could get this one uh, start to be leveled, but it's attack instead of HP. I think she might die too easy. I've got this one here, which is flat defense, which might be nice, actually. Um, I've got this one here. So you see here, I've got kind of chests that I could start to replace things with. Um, not many maxed out ones, though. I've got this crit rate one here on her gloves. Again, I've got kind of... I keep pulling the wrong stuff. Uh, I've got these, which are probably better now. This one's already 16 near enough, though, so it's kind of like, do I start again leveling a new piece? This one didn't get very good rolls. So I'm just all about farming gear. I've got these speed boots on her. The next one I've got is War Chanter. Very cool champ, actually. So he's got a chance to stun on his A1. Needs one more book here, which would be up to 30% chance. He's got an A2, which needs one more book as well. Hits all enemies. 25% chance of placing the decrease attack, the small version. And a 25% chance of placing provoke. So that books up to here, what, 30, 40%, which is quite nice. Uh, again, got a couple of masteries on him. Um, and I have got on him HP, HP, speed. So this is, this is quite a good setup here. Okay, sub rolls, not amazing sub rolls and a piece here. So we're kind of getting somewhere. Um, I'm still probably behind Stu, to be fair. And then I, I, Damphy, I really like Damphy's kit. I wish she was, um, I wish she was more effective on bosses because she would definitely be my six star if she was more effective on bosses. She's got this A, um, this A1 here, attacks one enemy, grants an extra turn if she kills a target. So she's kind of like a relic keeper. In waves, you can literally just go in, kill one by one, everyone in that wave. And then she brings an AOE in, AOE in here, which also heals her for the damage she inflicts. So I got her in lifesteal. She's kind of got an inbuilt lifesteal and the lifesteal makes, makes her kind of top up her health on this ability. A few masteries here as well. Pretty cool champion um yeah yeah pretty cool champion i really like her. i've got these speed boots here i've got a bit of speed and crit on this item uh, and then we've got an attack percentage attack percentage just because that's what i had i'd rather this was crit but we do have good good rolls here um yeah again i just i feel like i've got okay pieces but they're not insane pieces and that's probably what i'm lacking really is that kind of real insane couple of bits of kits to to boost her up um you know, I keep getting freestyle stuff. Um, so I am working hard. This piece is nice. It might be that I, I try and sub in a speed set instead of this attack set now and try and get a faster. So this would be nice to get that extra crit rate up. Um, so they're my three, really. I think I'm going to end up going with War Chanter and one of these two. I want to go Damn Fear just because I want someone different to get to my... I'm not sure which one to six star. I mean, he scales really well in terms of HP. I think he can handle, um, you know, the later stages just within himself. So it's going to have to be one of the other two in terms of which one's a six star. If you look, she's got a much lower base HP, but a much higher base defense. So I think it's probably going to be her. That base defense is going to be worth a lot to me versus this. So I think I'm going to go these two as my kind of final two to push with. Um, where am I so far then? So I have done... All of normal, free starred. Got myself that void shard. I've done hard, free star, all the way here up to this point. And I've got these to do. I'm going to wait till I get my six star to do that because these levels are really tough. This was a it's, a, it's a massive gear check when you get to these these two dragons. Stage nine, really hard. Stage 10, really hard. Both of those are a massive gear check. Uh, I actually got through stage 12 quite quickly, but these two were really hard. And then on brutal, I've kind of freestyled the early stages and then I'm going to wait till I get again my six star before I start going back and freestyling these. But I am up to this stage nine again. I think might even be on the boss. Yeah, on the boss. I'm going to wait till I've got a six star before I try and do that and then push for the final. So still a lot to do. It's all about now getting myself a six star. Everything else has kind of led up to this. 
absolutely getting tons of value out of this battle pass free to play you see here i've done all the daily challenges i've done it every day i could i've collected all this energy shards all that stuff every day it's so important to you i can't do any of this on free to play I don't know why it's popping up um all of the events that have been on tons of energy and stuff you get out of these events absolutely you should be doing them arena assaults just popped look at all this energy in arena assault i am going to be in the arena getting that energy for me um you know this tra this this one a day training thing awesome awesome rewards from plarium here for a free to play player um you know anyone who mind about that that's such a cool little setup here this one i've been getting some good value out of as well all of the events i've been literally going for the events where they're where they're relevant tournaments where they're irrelevant like this fire night i've not even got into it zero points don't care can't get anything out of that but anything where i can get some some reward i've done it i feel like this account i've been totally cold brewed i have pulled maybe one epic no 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 i've pulled zero epics from green shards zero and i must have pulled a ton of them i've not pulled a single sorry i mean rare I've not pulled a single rare from a mystery shard. I pulled one epic from a blue shard. That's it. Everything else has been like the lowest possible um, type of pull. And I need the pulls to get myself these five stars. So I've, I have farmed some rares out of the campaign. But I haven't pulled a single rare from a mystery shard. If you can believe it. It's galling. It's totally slowing me up. I need those those pulls to get me to give me some sort of chance. Uh, but I just can't get them. I'm just getting no luck with it. Um, and the other thing I thought is, should I try and go hard to get this? Uh, but I don't think I've got the ability with two 50s to beat old big boy Mortu here. So if I thought about my two best 50s right now, it would probably be these two. Or maybe I would bring Sniper in instead of this. But So if I, if I run this quickly and show you, this would be what I'd need to do to be able to get that extra shard. So she kind of gets her AoE off. Look at that. Pretty good damage. AoE off here. Again, quite good damage. Not quite enough to kill them. If I can get that to kill them in one shot, then maybe I've got a better chance here. But I take a load of damage here. But then she says, well, you know what? My ability resets every time. Mop up. Mop up. Mop up. How are you feeling? Mop up. And we're through to the next stage. And that's why I really like her. She then comes into the next stage. AoE again. We get people a bit low. I uh, kind of want to either get a stun off or a nuke off somewhere. Pro what I want to do is get everyone low enough so that she can do a mop up again. So I'm going to go here. I could have done with a stun. If, if I get a stun there, then I've got, I'm going to take less damage, basically. But look how much damage we're taking here. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Is she dead? She's dead. You know? Ugh. And that's the trouble with... So I'm determined not to bring shield guard in here i'm determined not to use that zephyr sniper but not having defensive based champions just absolutely ruins your chances because defensive based champions can take a hit these these attack based champs are super fun but they can't take a hit war chant at H, hp base so he can take a bit of a hit but she is on the floor legs akimbo she's done and i'm gonna lose so I can't get that sacred shard that I want. They can't run it by themselves. I need to six star someone. But I'm determined. <laughs> I'm still at it. I'm still in it, guys. I'm still in it, but it's hard. Anyway, I've been talking for long enough. I've been Hell Hades. Um, good luck with the fusion when it comes out, and I will keep updating you on my brutal rush. Come join me in Twitch if you've not seen already. I'm doing it live there. I'll catch you soon, guys.